Welcome back, guys. It's Big Belly Bob. And Miss Shannon. And do we have a tasty banger for oh, you? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Red ideas, guys. Red ideas. <laughs> hey, you tried. You tried. Hey, you know. All right, so we have apple bees. Do you want to run down what we have real quick? Chicken wonton tacos, which I love. I got some beef nachos. And then on Bob's plate, he has some barbecue riblets, a nice big bacon cheeseburger, and then some Asian uh, chili chicken bites. And I'm sure overhead sometime in a minute while we're eating. Let's go ahead and pray. All right, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food we're about to receive, for the nourishment of our body, for Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Please remember to like this video, comment below, share, share it out, it. share it out. I mean, it's cool. One day we'll get it. All right, <laughs> I I'm, got it. But you be like, you be like, share it out. You sang it one day and that's why I took it from you. So you should know how. Then how are you changing up if I'm I know, I always go share it out. Either way, subscribe to both our channels. Miss Shan Shorty Recipes, Big Belly Bob, if you're new here. Uh, hit that joint membership and all the notification bells. I'm ready to eat. Uh, like I said, we got these rib. I don't know what I want to eat first, but just because they look so shiny. I'm going to go ahead and put my cheese on here. Give me one second, because I kind of want to, my cheese is a little flat. Right, right before I take my first bite. So right I actually kind of wanted to pour, I wanted it to pour on my nachos, so it was like cheesy. Now it's about to black. That sounds like something crunchy, like a chip. That was a riblet. Is it sufficient dish? Okay. All right, I am ready to dig in. More my cheese. Take a bite of one of these. So, how's everybody doing today? Oh, it's chicken bites. Hope everybody's doing all right in the middle of the week on hump day. The weekend is approaching. Mm -hmm. And so is the end of the month. That is also approaching as well. So, we have a short month with February. So, February is almost over. Drinking pink lemonade today. I'm drinking that blue Hawaiian punch. And actually with my nachos, with Applebee's, it comes separate. So, you know, they give you like your condiments so your nachos don't get all soggy. So we got some guacamole on there. That's pretty loaded. Don't be getting jealous. I'm just saying, I got all this over here. I'm gonna let them get another look on my bite. But like, I'm waiting for her to not look at the camera. Or not look at her food, so I can eat it. I got all this, and her food still looks better than mine. I don't even, you know, I've had, what is it, Friday's? Who has a Jack? That's Friday's a Jack Daniel sauce, right? Mm -hmm. I can't honestly say the last time I had a rib tip or a rib or anything. This is ketchup. From Applebee's. No? There's plenty of napkins down there. Okay. All right. I, I will say this, this is better than some of these chain little places around here. Mm hmm. Pretty good. Mm hmm. Oh, I might need a fork. I'll be right back. I'm not stopping. You gotta get your own fork. wonton chicken tacos they come in the little wonton taco shell and of course they give you the 
meat, I got chicken. I'm gonna give you some coleslaw as well to put on there if you want, which I do. I'll give you some of the sauce. And then they give you some. What you gonna be the honey barbecue? Sriracha. What is it, the honey barbecue sauce you got me on the ribs? I don't know. You don't remember what you ordered, darling? You placed the order. I asked you what you wanted. Well, this is the honey barbecue. What does your uh, fabulous palate tell you it is? It tells me it's good. That's what it tells me. Why is it? I asked you a simple question. You just couldn't give me a simple answer. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm eating all this. <laughs> I'm going to eat all this. <laughs> Says the man that just ate two pounds of brown meat for two days. <laughs> I'm definitely going to put some up for later, but everything sounded so good. It's like I couldn't make up my mind what I wanted. Mm -hmm. And you went with something completely different. This is like my go-to meal for uh, Applebee's. These neighborhood nachos are so good. I got fresh jalapenos on there. And the pico. And then I give you the cheese. Mm -hmm. I usually get the same thing from Applebee's too. That's kind of why I got more than one item. I usually get the, uh, was it the Santa Fe chicken? Is that what it's called? Southwestern Fiesta chicken? Fiesta lime chicken. Fiesta lime chicken. Excuse me. See, I told you she know what I be getting. I don't know why she be acting like she don't. <laughs> but that's what I usually get. But that's basically chicken and rice. And that's pretty much what I just had yesterday. It was two pounds of ground chicken with rice. Even though the Applebee's um, lime chicken is delicious. Yeah, it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I say though, like. We haven't actually been and sat down at Applebee's in a long time. I'm like, have we ever been to Applebee's together? <laughs> I don't think I've honestly ever sat down inside of Applebee's. I think so. I want to say we have. Last time I remember we went to Applebee's when my mother was in town. Ah, see, yep. We're doing Indianapolis 500. And if you know about any major event, but especially Indianapolis 500, since it's Basically, what the world's largest sporting event, and uh, you can't go nowhere. Traffic on that whole side of town is just jacked up. Mm -hmm. right. You literally would take an hour just to go like a mile. Yeah, and God bless you if you actually live on a street where you can park that's like right around the corner from the track because mm -hmm. people rent out their yards, their driveway space. Yeah. They charge people like thirty dollars to park in the grass. Yeah, it's crazy. It's weird. And the yards don't even be big and fit like. No, that'd be this little bitty house. Technically, it probably could fit maybe three, four cars in the yard, but they ramming cars. They don't care about the grass, nothing. Mm -hmm. They just want that race week money. Mm -hmm. It's there. It's definitely there. But even with that, they never say they do get twenty cars, fifteen yards in them. Cause I know I don't park in somebody's yard. I mean, I have an extra three to four hundred dollars a day. But then your yard's trash. I guess most of them yards are already trash over the years. They pretty much turn them into parking lots. Mm -hmm. That's kind of the same thing with the fairgrounds too, though. You say have you actually? Cause I know we never been to the uh, race together. Have you been to the race since you've been here in Indianapolis? Like you know, I've never been in the race. I've never been watching the race. I've Not never tailgating. ever. No. Tailgating, working events at the tailgating. Yes, all up in it. But that's the, what you go for. Who wants it? I do not want to sit in no 110 degree weather. With hot rubber. With hot rubber, hot cars. <laughs> on some hot metal bleachers. I mean, hey, when you're. Like, for eight hours watching cars go around the track. And then, like you said, everybody be drunk anyway. So what's worse? And being drunk and in the heat. That's the perfect combination for some people. Mm -hmm. Outside heat and alcohol. Yeah, but those people for this year probably was this horrible because they were so used to doing that. I mean, you're talking about thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people out there. Mm -hmm. Vendors. Maybe everybody. For a whole week, just sitting out there getting drunk all day long. 
<laughs> yeah. All they do is they sit there and they get drunk all day long. Some of the best tailgating vehicles come out. Mm -hmm. Full kitchens come out of pickup trucks. And the people out there partying for over a week. Mm -hmm. I should give it a try though. If you've never been, um, you actually have the opportunity to go once you know everything is cleared over with them. But we I, mean, I don't want to go. I don't actually want to go see the race. I mean, it's too loud. I mean, it's not bad, but you do have to sit there for. I mean, you gotta sit there. You gotta have your headphones glass. on. Um, you literally can't hear the person next to you. Like, I'm cutting you off. That's how the cars cut you off. <laughs> I'm ready to eat this burger, but... And I was complaining about it only being three. That's a nice piece, so I'll say, maybe I'll save that one. Did you want to try some? No, I feel like I have a meal in the right here. Do you guys want another bite? Before I bite into that burger? Now to clear some of that way. You know I, I, like, you know I like sharing. Um, so... You say, we haven't really been to 500. What about, um, you see, I'm just like exposing my background here. But what about the, you said the demolition derbies? Have you been there? As a kid, mm -hmm. and not here in India, I mean, up north, um, I went to some. None here. Mm -hmm. That's another spectacle where you just seem to watch cars. At least in but that one, they break though. each other. So that's cool. <laughs> yes, <laughs> seeing the cars demolish themselves, but then you look at them, you're like, "Wow, that car was like a piece of junk to begin with." But it's all I mean, the, up yeah, under the hood and stuff. The and engine's and, good. It's mm -hmm. just the body is made to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. That's why you got those old cars. It's like tanks. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, when I went to my first one, I was like, um. Probably you know, like 18, 19, something like that. Mm -hmm. right, was, it was at night, so mm -hmm. that was cool. And um, I was a kid. It was just, I mean, with, with that one, the fact that the cars were actually hitting themselves, there was a lot of debris, you know, flying in the air and stuff. And I mean, yeah, it gets loud because they get some good crashes and there's some strong engines, but like I said, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Then, when you had a racetrack, and yeah, you see the cars over there a mile away racing, and then you can actually see them. Mm -hmm. But as soon as they come their way, it's just a zoom. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Zoom. I mean, that's part of the I thing. I really too. think they go it. there just to get drunk. You can hear the car zoom, though. That's the cool thing, though. They do really be like, vroom, vroom. You can live five miles away and hear them zooming. <laughs> and that's not exaggerating, guys. If you were in, within five miles of the Indianapolis 500 racetrack, I'm gonna say probably more than that. I'm gonna say more than five miles away. You will still hear those cars driving. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. You will hear them a couple miles away. I heard that you want some ranch for your no. Or no. I don't know why people put ranch on their wings. I mean on um, this celery. I'm mm -hmm. getting that right now. As um I got too much other goodness going on. Bob and Joe would say. Mm -hmm. I don't even for that. Junk food. <laughs> yeah, this is junk food. <laughs> Shout out to Bob and Joe the Raptor. <laughs> I won't eat this junk food. Eat, I at least won't eat it in front of you, Bob. <laughs> at first, I didn't have a little kick. So, I'm going to bite this burger. Should I want to bite? What didn't have a kick? The Asian sauce at first? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got my Chicago mild sauce. You gonna be like, uh. Put over my uh, french fries back here. There's nothing wrong with the Applebee's sauce, but. You gotta start carrying that in your in your car. No, <laughs> I'm about to get me a fanny pack just to carry my uh, my mild sauce around. I mean, I'm about to start really start eating it more often. Somebody was in my comments saying, What you know about uh, Chicago mild sauce? I said, I know everything about Chicago mild sauce. Yeah. It just ain't right without that sauce. And it'd be cool a lot of people be trying to imitate it. But as you would say, it has a lot of vinegar and all that. But I yeah, like it's it. a vinegar based uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm like, um, you know how some people 
And Beyonce got that song, she keep hot sauce in her bag. Mm -hmm. and keep mild sauce. I'm gonna put it in the flask. <laughs> I'm like, what you got? You got alcohol in that flask? <laughs> nah, man, that's why I carry that mild sauce. Uh -huh. Or you could do it. Hmm. I don't know if I can say this, but you can put it like in a little vial or something. You could just be like, <laughs> and just taste it on your fingertip. <laughs> I mean, the motion that you're making reminds me of uh, when you used to go to school and you thought you was doing something bad to get that Kool Aid and sugar mix. And you have it in the bag, and you used to say it was like drugs and cocaine and stuff back in the day. You'd be oh, sitting there yeah. eating it. It was just Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid was straight sugar. That was a fun, fun dip. Well, a fun dip came actually with a fun dip with the little stick that you would lick. Yeah. But I knew people that were straight just bringing Kool-Aid mixed with a whole bunch of sugar and just eating it throughout the day. Oh, wow. But they was ready to go all the time, huh? Yeah, people used to bring them little sugar bags and we selling straight Kool-Aid mixes, you know, instead of mixing it with juice, they just straight mixing it, licking their fingers or whatever, just like you do with the, uh, the stick. I guess you can call that the hood dipstick. Did you even taste your Asian chili bites yet? I was like the first thing I ate. I ate like wow. six of them things. Mm. That's what I'm saying. There's not that many left. Right, drop some more. Mm. Pickle. I don't even like five left. I ate like five. How many did I eat, guys? You saw it. I feel like I haven't stopped eating. Mm -hmm. well, you put a dent in our nachos. I'm like, I tell you, this is like one of my favorites. If you guys haven't tried it, definitely try it. I don't know what it is about these nachos, but they just taste so good. They're so much better than regular nachos. They're not better than my nachos I like from Chili's with the steak and chicken. Mm, those are good. I'm gonna have to make those one time. Mm -hmm. You don't want to make them? We. She gonna make them. Mm. She the one with the channel called Shane Shorty Recipes. I'm just a big belly. That means I eat everything. You be having me in the kitchen all night, y'all. <laughs> all night. I get to sleep like two hours. Sounds good. <laughs> no, but seriously. He be hounding me, like, especially for desserts. Like, I can make him a whole tray of brownies. He'll eat in about two days. And then he'll be like, man, I wish I had some cookies. <laughs> like, you just ate a whole pan I of just brownies. like that stuff in my coffee. <laughs> Donuts and coffee. Brownies and coffee. Cookies and coffee. I just like to dip stuff in my coffee. But I'm saying you lucked out. Because you're lucky I like to bake. Because if I didn't, you'd be eating Chips Ahoy's and... That's cool. And I go get that Toll House. Um, who's like Toll House cookie? Toll House cookie. I used to take the turtles. Some soft back. And I used to mix them up with the chocolate chip or another flavor. I used to mix the those together. The turtles. What's that? The turtles. The caramel and pecan. Oh, so you, okay. Huh. So you that. take, you know, you take one cookie dough and you mix it with the other cookie dough. Um, and then you make a, you a super cookie. The candy, the chocolate covered turtles with the nuts. Wow, that, you know they got the Toe House turtle cookie dough. You're talking about cookie dough turtles. Yeah, Toe House cookie dough turtles. And maybe some chocolate chip or whatever, almond or whatever I like. You have the soft batch. The and mix them though. together. Chips Ahoy has soft batch. Well, and it was before. It came in a red, a red package. And it was Toe House. Soft batch. And they were already made. Not maybe Toe before. House. Mm, you have to look that up. Wasn't Keebler Elf? Yeah, those was good cookies too, though. Yeah, that Keebler. Keebler Elf been making some good cookies for a while. <laughs> <laughs> little, little sucker. He been working for a hot minute. Mm-hmm. And that tree. And all the other elves. Okay, so I'm going to eat. Oh, I have to tell you guys, these are my favorites, so I can't stop eating them. And so... And the fresh jalapeno, I love fresh jalapeno. All fresh jalapeno. What's your favorite item from Applebee's? Or do you even have Applebee's in your city? Right. Well, let's try the wonton taco. I wonder how many people are like me, like they go to a restaurant and literally order the same thing from that restaurant every time. I try not to, you know, I try to switch it up. But usually I'm not feeling too adventurous, you know. It's like when you want 
What you want to eat, you want what you want to eat. Yeah, like I want to go cheesy, but I want the meatloaf. Yeah. You know, I don't ever be like, oh, I want the black and chicken today. No, I want that. Right. Maybe if you go out to eat at a restaurant, you know, people, you'd be like, oh, I'll try something different. <laughs> you know, you might eat something that you wouldn't ever usually eat. But usually you, you stick with what you know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And this sauce is like a. It's kind of like a. Almost like a teriyaki, I would say, almost. Even I smashed time. this burger. You guys get a bite of that? Let me see that. Mmm. You got the chicken meat in there, cilantro, the coleslaw. And yeah, the wonton uh, mm -hmm. pepper. That's one thing I haven't mastered yet. Offering the bite and not spilling nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe one day you're gonna stop her. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day. Miss Chan teach you. <laughs> <laughs> now you Mr. Miyagi Sensei. Miss Chan, stick with me. You will go far. <laughs> well, I was going I wish I'd got that whiskey burger. Oh yeah. Oh, um, you know what you could do is put you some of your mm -hmm. see butter on there. My Hennessy butter sauce. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got that butter sauce. Hennessy butter sauce. Mm hmm I just wasn't uh, seasoned that well. I don't think personally. Okay, listen to my crunch. Mm -hmm. I heard your crunch and I heard D was crunch. Mm -hmm. D was chewing on a tea bottle. Wait. I'm up. I don't want to jinx it because I'm like. She would probably eat the whole tea bone. I gave her tea bone the other day and she ate the whole thing. Like there was no remnants. I'm just saying that's the most we've got to eat at this table without our interrupter. That's what we gotta do. She's gotta have a nice bone. Otherwise, oh. <laughs> I hear her moving. Otherwise, she's gonna. Ah oh, man, now I just I think I just got hit with it. Now I think it's here pretty good. Hey, two nice sized ribs, about five bites, mm -hmm. maybe six boneless, a whole burger. Mm -hmm. I know you guys would love to see me finish this, but I'm going to save that for myself. Like I said, and I, and I told, and then if you pay attention to my video yesterday, I just said, I'm going to eat light the rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat nothing else. And that's just my brain telling me that, but my body is telling me something else. My mind's telling me no, but my, but body, my body, my body's telling, telling me yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're like two nice seamless people ever. Uh, thank you. I Saying. I don't know about you, but I'm not catching on if I have french fries in my mouth. I can hold a tune, okay? If I had no french fries in my mouth. Thank you. My mama was a good singer. I guess I would eat some of this junk food. It's okay. You want some ranch? No. The ranch is good. It's good. I thought you got the blue cheese ranch. They actually, gave they, ranch. ranch. they actually gave me ranch. So I don't know what they was doing in they that. They gave us a big old lecture about how we got ranch here and get the blue I cheese. I know, but they gave us ranch. You know, I asked for blue cheese. Um, and neither one of them I wanted. I'm going to bite on my one-time taco. Something to fold them over. I think. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Why are you acting like you're some big mystery? I gotta find out how I'm gonna I make them. I said, it. I need to make these. No, you said find out how to make them. So I'm trying to give you a suggestion. You just shoot me down. Anyway. I know. I think what I'm gonna do is. I'm actually gonna. What? I hold on to this spicy. I'm going to save these because they actually heat up really good. Reheat. No, I'm going to save this food inside of the container because these wonton tacos actually heat up good when you reheat them in the oven. Just put them on a, a cookie sheet or something. These wontons, you can reheat them. They're still crispy. Whereas the nachos, you know how those go. Sometimes your nachos start getting soggy. I don't think I've ever ate nachos after the next day. Yeah, I was going to say, nachos. Except, except, except them big ones that come from chilies because they're different. Because they come with big old pieces of steak and chicken and just throw them in the oven. But like, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Man, like that I'm going to say. But just really quick, I'm going to uh, <laughs> finish the rest of my nachos. <laughs> well, I'll just sit here and watch you eat because I'm not going to eat no more. I am full. Well, if I gave you a hundred dollars to finish that. I mean, I'm not saying that I can't it's finish it. It's not a challenge. I'm not saying that I can't no, finish I it. You $100. I'm saying I would like to save me some food for later on when I am hungry, possibly later on, instead of having to make something completely different. It's still early. Yes, it's early. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What time do you guys think is a good time to stop eating? For the day, what do you, what time do you normally stop eating for the day? Seven. Like, nah, you eat when I eat. You don't stop. Are you saying in general seven would be a good time? So I'm a late eater. I like to nibble at night. Mm, I'm a good luck. So yes. I don't know. I didn't really get too much into this Tiger Woods thing going on. But I would say he just doesn't have good luck going on. I keep messing up, and this time, I don't think it was his fault. So I need to look more into that. Yeah, it was a single car accident, so I don't know. Meaning him it's by a, himself? They said a single car, so. And then mm. they said the jaws of life had to be used to get him out. Yeah, I mean, all, all I saw was headlines. And I was gonna try to read up on it before this, so I could have something to really, really, you know, if I need to talk about it. But I heard he's okay though. I mean, he's talking right now. Yeah, you know, but I, I was just wondering, did they say he broke both his legs or? I meant to yeah. Is he ever gonna play golf again? I mean, he don't really need to. I mean, they play golf now for just the pure love of it, because I'm pretty sure he don't need the money anymore. Oh, he always need that money, baby. <laughs> nah, that one you that rich. I don't know, he probably lost a lot too. Endorsements and everything else. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today, checking out the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Comment below, guys. Share this video out with everybody. And hit the notification bell. Subscribe to both our channels. I'm Big Belly Bob. I'm Shan. Peace. Bye, y'all. Sleep, I pray the Lord that I wake again. I wake again. I wake again. I pray the Lord that I Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord that I wake again. I wake again. I wake again. I pray the Lord that I Cause I've been working in the kitchen with the dirt on my hand. God tell me why nobody loves me.